When you think about 60s and 70s rock music, you're probably not likely to think about soundtrack albums, but actually I've got a lot of these in my collection. So let's take a look at some of these. The first one here is The Wild Angels. I featured this in my Garage Rock Classics video too. Um, the soundtrack here is by Davey Allen and the Arrows. And the soundtrack was so successful that they released a volume two of it, and it also spawned the hit single blues theme, which made the top 40. Here's another biker movie also on Tower, and it's also by Davey Allen and the Arrows. It's Devil's Angels. Here's another Roger Corman picture. It's The Trip. This one's on the Sidewalk label. The soundtrack is by The Electric Flag, but when they made the movie, they were such a new band that they went under a different name. They were called the American Music Band in the credits of the film. And here you can see they've credited them as The Electric Flag and American Music Band to cover all their bases here. You can see this is a DJ copy. Here's a classic soundtrack by Simon and Garfunkel. It's for The Graduate. This is on Columbia Records. From 1972, here's Clockwork Orange. This is by Walter Carlos, who's best known for Switched on Bach. From 1975, it's Tommy, which features The Who. From 1969, the Easy Rider soundtrack, a very successful record from that year. It includes the Holy Modal Rounders, the Electric Prunes, and a lot of other groups. Never seen this movie, Candy is the name of it. It, fe it features the birds in Steppenwolf and includes um, Magic Carpet Ride. It's on the ABC label. Here's Harry Nolson's cartoon from, I think, 1970. It's The Point. It includes the song Me and My Arrow. This is on the RCA label. Another Nilsson-related album is the Midnight Cowboy soundtrack from 68. This is on United Artists. This next album is interesting because it's sort of a wannabe Midnight Cowboy soundtrack. It's actually just an album by Elephant's Memory. Um, what they did is they included the two songs that were featured in the soundtrack by that group, Old Man Willow and Jungle Jim at the Zoo. Then they added a cover of Everybody's Talking and the Midnight Cowboy theme. And then the second side of the album is just tracks from their debut album on the Buddha label. And as you can see, they put a um, look-alike John Voight on the cover to exploit the success of that film. Sort of an interesting album. Finally, we've got the Hair soundtrack, which is it's easy to make fun of. It's easy to see it today as just as a cliche, but it was a pretty important cultural happening at the time and a very successful musical and soundtrack album. So I thought we'd take a look at some soundtracks.